Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, drivingthenation.com, and I am here with my good buddy, Mark Royce. How are you? You're now looking at other areas outside of North America. Europe, uh, you've decided to take Chevy away. Yes, two brands here that, um, you know, with some of the same architecture and models, and then differentiate them with brands and try to sell them out of the same showroom is a very difficult task. We want to focus on Opel and Vauxhall's success in Europe. And, um, you know, Chevrolet, frankly, uh, you know, wasn't selling very many in some of those more mature markets and it diluted the profitability of the dealers there and it, it confused the customer. So what do you do when you no longer have Chevy in Europe and somebody wants that Corvette? <laughs> well, you know, it, it's not, a, a, that's a great question because there will be people that, now that the Corvette has sort of moved to world class in terms of sports car and, and performance, um, I think there will be people that, that, that's a huge market for that, you know that. And uh, so we will look at um, bringing those cars in and selling them through our distribution outlets that are already in place. They may not be Chevrolet distribution outlets, but you know we'll provide that um, that capability perhaps um, through some of those uh, brands that we do have distribution through. Would I be able to say then that Opel would be able to service them at some of their dealers? They would have to be if we did that. They would absolutely have to be, and um, I'm not sure that that that's that hard to do. Right. And uh, we've got a global parts network and service network for Chevrolet, so. You've got uh, some sales in Japan right now, but you need a right-hand drive in order to do that. How will that happen? If you look at our portfolio and the, what we're doing on our architectures in the future, I think um, all, of, all or most of our architectures in the future uh, will be right-hand drive capable. The, the question of whether we go to Japan or not, that is a very protected, tough market for anybody outside of, of the Japanese. So you know, I, don't, I don't know if that's going to change or not. I don't have a crystal ball, but right now it's um, really, really tough for us to go in there from a, a trade basis in Japan and compete. So you know, that's the way it is. Mark Rice, thank you very much. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you. Always a pleasure.